This is a very short background video on the Panic of 1873, which will hopefully help you understand these economic primary documents. So after the Civil War, there was a huge increase in land speculation, which is when investors buy land for development, notably on railroads, with the hopes of turning a profit. But there was a change in U.S monetary policy which deals with coinage and that led to a shortage of currency starting in 1873 and Jay Cook and Company the largest bank in the United States at the time failed and that burst the speculative bubble people could no longer take out loans as easily since there wasn't as much money in circulation and that resulted in a chain of subsequent bank failures. And so not only did land speculators suffer, the average person did because their savings in banks was not insured. And so many of them realized that their banks had just closed their doors and they lost everything. So that led also to rising inflation, which causes prices to increase. And there was a long depression afterwards um, that lasted until 1879. In fact, it was called the Great Depression at the time until the Depression of the 1930s set a new standard. Unemployment was a major symptom of this panic and depression. It peaked at about 8.5%. Again, not nearly as much as the Great Depression, but still, that's really bad. And this has a negative reputation on the Republican Party. Grant was in office during this financial panic. And to Democratic critics, this was seen as yet another reason why his administration was corrupt and inefficient. So that's a very oversimplified version of the Panic of 1873, and I hope it helps you understand these documents.